I think that the Georgia runoff races are incredibly important because obviously I want Democrats to control the Senate. I want them to be in this position to where they feel pressure from the left to actually put up proof to folks that you represent them. Now is as good a time as ever. We're facing a global pandemic and you've got to be there for your constituents. Prove to voters that you actually care and that you're the party of the working class. And I just don't want Republicans to control the Senate, obviously, because they're crazy. But I mean, having said that, though, I'm not particularly excited about Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff. I just see them as a means to an end. They're standing between two Republican extremists who have been caught doing insider trading. But as I learn more and more about Raphael Warnock through Kelly Loeffler's attack ads, I'm starting to like him. Like, at first, I didn't like him um, at all because he doesn't support Medicare for All. And if you don't support a policy that would guarantee health care to people, especially during a pandemic, like, you're not worth a damn. Uh, but as I learn more about him through these attack ads, he is growing on me. And him not supporting Medicare for All completely unforgivable. And if he is in power, of course, we have to pressure him to do the right thing. But I want you to watch these ads that Kelly Loeffler put out. I'm going to play two of them back to back for you because she attacks Raphael Warnock. But in turn, after watching these ads, I kid you not, I literally liked him more. I'm learning more about him. And he seems like he is the type of person that could be persuaded to do the right thing because what is demonstrated in these ads is human empathy, which you often see lacking in D.C. So I see this and I think, wow, not only do I agree with him, but maybe he could be convinced to support Medicare for All. Maybe he's lying about his real position on Medicare for All because he thinks that it's not politically feasible in a red state like Georgia or now blue state like Georgia. I don't know. Uh, but let me just remind you that I'm coming to these conclusions watching an attack ad that Kelly Loeffler put out on Raphael Warnock. And if you go to her YouTube page, she has like 600 subscribers, but the videos that she put out attacking him, specifically these ads, majority disliked. Because I don't think they're accomplishing what she wants them to accomplish. Uh, but I'll shut up and let you watch and see for yourself because these are great ads that really sell me on Raphael Warnock. I'm Kelly Leffler. I approve this message. Radical Raphael Warnock compared Israel to a racist country. We saw the government of Israel shoot down unarmed Palestinian sisters and brothers like birds of prey. Warnock sided with terrorists who hate America and would destroy Israel. They have a right to self-determination. Palestinian lives matter. I'm Kelly Leffler. I approve this message. Raphael Warnock attacks our military. Nobody can serve God and the military. Warnock said America's human rights record is worse than China's and Iran's. He compared our ally Israel to a racist country. And when Israel defended itself against Palestinian terrorists, what did Warnock say? Palestinian lives matter. Radical Raphael Warnock, dangerous for America. When I see that, I think he sounds like a reasonable person. He sounds like a human being that actually cares about others, which is a rarity. And the arguments that she makes here are so bad. Like, I don't know why she thought this was compelling, and I'm sure it'll appeal to people in that right wing echo chamber. But like to the average person, I don't know that this is going to be persuasive. The ad said radical Raphael Warnock compared Israel to a racist country. And then it cuts to a clip of him talking about how Israel was indiscriminately killing Palestinians. And after that, the ad ignores the substance that he said and just claims that he's siding with terrorists. They're nuts. He's saying that Israel is killing Palestinians and that's bad. That's racist. But you call him the terrorist? This, on its face, is ridiculous. Also, um, it's controversial, apparently, because he said, quote, Palestinian lives matter. So do you think that Palestinian lives don't matter? Kelly Loeffler, are they some sort of, like, subhuman species in the world that we have to relegate to, like, third-class citizen status where it's acceptable that they are in the world's largest open-air prison? Like, what is your view on Palestinians? Like, she's kind of telling on herself here that she thinks that saying Palestinian lives matter is controversial, even if you are the most staunchest supporter of Israel. 
do you honestly think that Palestinian lives don't matter? Is that that the official position of people who support and worship Israel? Is that really the route you're going on? Interesting. Now, in the second ad, she says, Raphael Warnock attacks our military, and he said, nobody can serve God and the military. Um, look, growing up evangelical, this is not controversial. If you're actually a Christian, of course, God is above the military. What he's saying isn't controversial, but she's trying to like find some attack on the military and extract as much controversy as she possibly can out of this. And she ends up embarrassing herself. And she again knocks Warnock for claiming that Israel is racist. And I love this. Uh, it's controversial because Warnock said America's human rights record is worse than China and Iran. It's bad that he said this. Is he not right, though? I mean, I'm not saying that China or Iran has good human rights records, but are you suggesting that, like, we have a good one? There was a report that came out that showed the United States government was intentionally droning civilians in Afghanistan so we could have more leverage while negotiating a peace deal with the Taliban. We bombed civilians on purpose so they'd come to the table in an effort to make us stop. Like you see, you know, Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. You see, you know, Iran persecuting lesbians and gays. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of bad things taking place in these countries. But don't pretend as if America, that our hands are clean. Like, that's, that's preposterous. The blood is on our hands. We invaded a country and killed hundreds of thousands, if not millions of civilians. And we're still there. We're droning civilians in Pakistan, Yemen. Somalia. So don't pretend as if America is something that it isn't. Uh, but these ads, overall, seeing these ads literally convinced me that Warnock is better than I had initially thought. That is certainly something uh, because, you know, we know that these ads aren't intended to appeal to a broad audience. But the thing is that, like, if you want to win, you have to make an ad that isn't just tailored to people in that right-wing echo chamber. You actually need to broaden the base. Otherwise, you're going to lose. So I get, like, trying to do this right-wing framing and make a right-wing argument because she's a far-right winger. But this is, like, a really bad ad, even for her standards as a Republican, who you expect to say that this is a radical socialist. Like, this is, this is not good. Like, he's a pastor, and... You're kind of proving that he has human empathy here. So I don't know who this is going to appeal to that's outside of that right-wing bubble. But um, this this literally made me like Raphael Warnock. And I'm assuming that if you watch this and you're a leftist, you like him more too after watching these attack ads on him.